Ah, what's up guys? So right now I am in Pisac, which is a little village in uh, the Sacred Valley in Peru. Look at all this cool stuff. And uh, to me this feels like the little hippie village of the Sacred Valley. They've got all kinds of cool shops. It seems to be where all the people with dreadlocks and stuff hang out at. This is uh, some necklaces made from the ayahuasca vine. You can look. You can look. Okay. I have some bracelet in there. Oh, they're very nice. They're smooth. So this is this little self-serve repe thing, which I was kind of showed you in that other one. 25? No, it's okay. I don't need right now. But 20, okay? No, no, it's okay. 20. Thank you. 20 is good price. <laughs> it is very good price. 15, yeah, okay? 15. 15. I already have one, but I can't turn that price down. You know buy necklace, bracelet? Uh, no, not right now. Oh man, well, I bought three repe pipes today. Let me show you guys the ones I bought. So you just saw that one I bought. And you saw this one. This is the one I, I, I bought. This is like a, you give this to other people. And I bought another self-serve one. This one right here. Rep is very powerful. It's not psychedelic or anything, but puts you into a powerful little state. So yeah, like, PSAC is crazy, this little town. Buenos. This is like, uh, totally like the hippie capital of the fucking world, it seems like. Oh, look, we got some little alpacas over here. It looks like there's a little market set up. Let's go see what they got over here. Okay, so we got a little market open over here. Some sweaters, colorful stuff. They, so something that's kind of fucked up here is that they eat guinea pigs. Hello. So soft. <laughs> Hola. ¿Cómo está? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien. Hey, there you are. Here's my friend. He owns this little shop in here called the Shaman Shop. Hi. Hello. Good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. Make some some yeah? YouTube from the store. Okay, what do you want to show me? Show, give me a tour. Show me what you want to show me. Hi. <laughs> this is the shaman store in, in Pisac. Yes. This is where you come to get all your shamanic supplies. Yes. I have, anything you need. I have medicine stones for healing. Medicine stones, all kinds of beautiful stones. Yeah. That we used to put in the crown chakra for healing. And I have here more crystals. And I have... Uh, Flutes, drums, kalimbas, different instruments for healing, to make sound, uh, healing sound. You got everything. Look at this. Ah, uh, yes. It's beautiful. Buenos. This is the place that I came, me and Tom came here to get uh, our repe. And repe is, uh, is this stuff here. This is repe. And repe is, uh, is like made of tobacco, ash and powder and some other herbs. And they take a little thing like this. This is the self-serve one. You put, you put the repe in your hand, scoop it in there, and then you blow it into your nose. And to me, repe is like just this energetic 
just pull comes through the earth into your body and you go into like a deep meditation and uh, it's really powerful stuff it makes me puke almost every time but some people love it this is like something you pass to your running partner in the Olympics oh man this stuff is so cool So yeah, shamanism is, uh, well, it's very popular here in Peru. It's still very alive and uh, very magical, this country, man. This country's blowing my mind how magical it is. I feel like, uh, I feel like I've been in Hogwarts the past month, drinking ayahuasca and taking machuma and all these other crazy plant medicines. But yeah, here in PSAC, where I'm at right now, is uh, is filled with little shops like this, full of all your your psychedelic and shamanic tools and gear, everything you could possibly think of you can get here. Ayahuasca, San Pedro, Mescaline, uh, all these crazy crystals, all your instruments. You have some visionary art. Uh, looks like an ayahuasca ceremony. That's what it looks like too. If you take ayahuasca, it actually looks like that. And you see these type of animals. Oh, whoa, this is actually so crazy. And I saw these things. It sounds so ridiculous, but like ayahuasca took me to the swamp and those things were in the swamp. And they were brujos. That sounds such a, but brujo is like a sort of bad shaman or like a witch or like just kind of this, I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it. It's like a witch or a wizard or a warlock or something. And those things, I could feel their energy and they were, they were brujos. And the thing that's crazy about ayahuasca is that many people have reoccurring visions. The same type of entities appear to people. That one fucks me up because I saw those. That's insane. in the football game. <laughs> Here's the uh, Wachuma, the San Pedro Mexican cactus. We got some Native American headgears, some ponchos. Palo Santo. This stuff smells really good if you burn it, but apparently, from what I've heard, is that it's going extinct because so many people use it. The shamans use these in ceremony when they do their ikaros, when they sing their, their sacred songs. <sighs> okay, well, let's keep walking around and see what PSAC has to offer the world, or me. Well, there you have it. There you have it, folks. Folks? Folks? That's a weird word. Anyways, yeah, this is PSAC. I love this little place. This little psychedelic hippie village. Okay, show me. Show me your studio. Yeah, this is my art. After the ayahuasca, I start my vision. La transformación espiritual de heart, corazón, de moon, de caipacha, ocupacha. Muy bonito. Chévere, es da. Y eso es el de watercolor. The hummingbird. Representa la pachamama. Los incas. Músicas. Incas music. Y como te digo, es transportable. Roll it, there's no problem in the tube. Yeah, I don't want to buy any, but I really like it. It's very nice. 
Thank you for showing me. No problem. <laughs> Kotama? Juan. Nice to meet you. Dakota. Dakota. Yeah. Thank you for showing me. Do you want to tell YouTube? Yeah. Tell, say hello to YouTube. Gracias. <laughs> There's my art, my paintings, Arte Visionario con la Medicina, and the Moon. Very beautiful. He, he said he makes visionary, he makes visionary art. Gracias. Gracias, amigo. Yeah. These right here represent the Icaros, the shaman. They, they see these during ceremony, and these actually is a bit like sheet music. And these songs come to them during ayahuasca, and they start singing to help you, uh, to help heal you through your, through your trip. And that's what this represents here. This is uh, the Icaros, or the sacred songs, the mantras of the shamans. Look at this view. Oh, here's another shamanic shop. Let's check it out, see what they got. Rape, Tambo, San Pedro, Mapacho. It's very nice in here. Where are your Cambo sticks? So this is Cambo here? It's this Cambo. Ah, okay. That's like the Louis Vuitton of shaman stores. Oh, here's some more Shibibo stuff. They've got it open so you can, we can check out some of the designs. Hola. So inside there they had some cambo and I really want some cambo. Cambo is um well it's like frog venom and you uh a shaman or I guess anyone that wants to play shaman, you burn a hole into your arm and uh you rub the frog jelly buenos into uh into the burn. I got a little one on my arm here from when I was in the jungle. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little hole somewhere right there. And uh I think it's one of the most powerful detox you can do. I forgot what it has in it. Pet peptides? Pest pesticides? I don't think pesticides is the right word. But uh yeah, it's very good for your immune system. And um you puke and your face swells up like a frog. And uh yeah, most people hate it, but for some reason I like it. Hello, oh you little raggedy thing. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, okay, okay. He's pushing me. Okay. Oh. Okay. He's pointing me. Get some little mangoes, little mango daddies. I just bought all this fruit for less than two dollars. Like five mangoes, some plums, one of these things. Gracias. No aguacate. Aguacate. Avocado. Aguacate. I can't find no avocados nowhere. Did you know that Lord Shiva listened to high tech?